there it's beauty junkie welcome to my channel today i am recreating a look at the request of some of you guys i did a super glam look at least for me in my favorite makeup of 2021 video it was a very like smoky eye with a lot of glitter i had lashes on so i'm gonna recreate that look as best as i can and i'll go ahead and show that picture right now of the look i'm trying to recreate So this is ultra glam. This is definitely not an everyday thing for me. If you ever watch my channel, you'll know that I rarely put lashes on. So we're going to do a full face. I have nothing on my skin except skincare. So we're going to do from primer to lashes, all the steps so you guys can see what I use on my face. Now there might be a couple variations because I'm just kind of trying to remember and guess what I used. Um, I know I definitely use certain things like my foundation, my eyeshadow. So let's get into it, people. I apologize if this becomes a get ready with me style, if I share a little story, just because I know the makeup can get a little tedious, especially some steps, but I'm gonna try to show you everything. Let's get into primer first. Victoria Beckham Cell Rejuvenating Primer in Original, but I'm gonna scrape every last drop of this amazing, expensive primer, and this came off because I'm trying to use it as a tool. So if you guys didn't catch my favorites of makeup favorites of 2021 video, I was wearing all my makeup favorites on my face. So in this video, same stuff, favorite makeup. Um, not everything I'm using is new to 2021, just so you guys know but I'm pretty new to my channel. So I'm trying out things that I've never tried before, so some of it is new to me. I'm just gonna try to get some more of this out. So I went through the primer and it probably took me over six months but I didn't put makeup on every day. I didn't use this primer every time, but still I lasted a good amount. Now this is like 15 mils because I'm gonna put on a glow product next. With my hands, the Auric Glow Lust in Morganite. This is a radiant luminizer for the face. This is a sort of serum-y thick product. Look at that. I wanna have the ultimate glow. I put it on under my foundation, all over. It's got amazing amount of, next I'm gonna get into my foundation, which you're probably gonna be surprised by, but this was one of my favorite foundations of the year. I don't think this is not new this year. They had a concealer that came out this year, which I didn't love, but this is the Tinted Serum from Typology. This is the shade Type 1 Fair, and it is like a very skincare-like product, very runny very um, fair, like a uh, light coverage. Comes with this dropper, one ounce of product. And the reason I really like this, it's a light coverage foundation that I can apply with my fingers if I want to. And I know one of you guys asked me to explain like what's the difference in application when you use your fingers, a sponge, a brush, I think you were talking about foundation when you asked me that. And for me, it's a difference in staying power and finish and just smoothness. There's a difference when you use those tools. And if you don't know the difference on yourself, try out using just your hands with all different kinds of foundations for a week and see at the end of the day what your face looks like. Do you like it? You know, at the end of the day, you know, just using your hands to apply, try it with a brush, try it with a sponge for a week. And I think you'll probably notice a difference between all those techniques, at least I do. Sometimes I don't have to wait a full day. I can wait a couple hours and I'll be able to tell this looks terrible if I apply it with my hands. <laughs> this foundation, it's so light. 
I can easily layer it and I can easily spread it around with my fingers and I do not worry about cakiness, sinking into lines. <laughs> I don't have to worry about it laying on my skin weird. I have fuzz on my face, so foundation, usually with a brush, depending on the brush, I have to have a very special brush. Usually with any old brush, it looks really bad on my skin. <laughs> I think it's because I have fur, fur on my face and kind of buffing in the product just kind of exfoliates my skin and the hair and it just doesn't result in something good but moving on anyway that might be another video like foundation technique that i'll have to explain but look at this this is a really light coverage but i feel like it does a lot for without the weight i mean i used you know quite a bit of product it wasn't like I use one tiny drop and it covered my whole face. I guess it just feels light and the fact that I can just quickly blend it in makes me really happy. Now my nose could look a little bit better. Um, I'm gonna use some concealer from a different brand and sort of looking up close and fix things up around my nose, which is my problem area. But that is that, I really like this one a lot. Typology, but let's get into some concealers. So because we're doing a glam look, I'm gonna use two different concealers. I have the Clay de Po Ivory Radiant Corrector for Eyes. This is like a brightening concealer, but it's like got a lot of coverage for like an eye pen. It does a lot. I put it right here and then I use a sponge to make sure I disperse it a little bit more evenly and using a damp sponge kind of takes away some of the excess product. When you use your fingers, some of that excess product doesn't get absorbed into your hands, and so you have essentially too much makeup on your face. So the, the sponge really helps get rid of having too much product on your face, and it just kind of helps the product get into your skin. Anyways, this is a lovely concealer. I don't know that it's like my shade, but it's close enough. Now I'm going to use the Clay de Po Concealer Stick in Ivory. It's just called concealer. There's not like a fancy name for it. So I'm going to put a little bit on the side of my nose and where I have some blemishes which is a lot right now. So you'll probably notice I'm already doing a lot of steps by using multiple concealers, multiple primer kind of products. But a lot of this look is the glow coming from underneath my skin, besides the, you know, the eyes, which is the main focus. I think what's funny about this look is I thought it was too much in person, but the eye look on camera looked really shiny and smooth and really pretty. Even though in person it was like a little bit much, especially with the lashes. So it looks like I'm getting a little bit of pilling right here. That's when the product kind of balls up on your face and you'll notice, you'll see kind of chunks. I, I used a sample moisturizer today that was like really gel-like that I don't normally use and I think that is what is causing this to happen. Okay, we're going to get into some glow, some cream products, and finish off before we get into powder. So I'm going to use my Fenty Body Sauce as bronzer. I have this on my arms right now. It got me a little bit tan. So Fenty Body Sauce, this is a body product that I use on my face as a cream bronzer. I use this under powder and over powder. Today I'm going to use it under. You do not need a lot. It gives you so much bronzy glow so fast. It gives you nice tan. This is the lightest shade pearl swirl. You can put it wherever you want on your face. Take it down your neck a little bit or all the way actually as much as you can so that you don't look separated from your body. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I'm using a damp sponge to take down the makeup. So when you guys tan and glow and bronze your face and your body is really pale, we all see it. So I probably put too much, too much bronzer. I am ready for a vacation so I can be bronze like this. Blush stick, mini skirt, Victoria Beckham cheeky posh. fingers. So I like this glow, but I know that my face is going to really shine up <laughs> and get oily. So I have to put a powder. So this powder was not in my favorites video. The Givenchy Prism Libre Matte Finish Enhanced Radiance Loose Powder Mousseline Pastel Shade 1. This really mattifies. You have to be careful about how much you use. It's not my favorite. A little bit too matte, but I'm going to use it as a setting powder. This is the Ruffer number 25 Big Old Powder Brush. Okay, on to brows. This is the Anastasia Brow Freeze Brow Styling Wax. This clear wax that you push up your brows with. You take a spoolie and you go up, up, up. Now, ideally, you're going to want to trim your brows at the top here so you don't get crazy, unruly looking brows. I do not trim my brows because I don't have much, so I don't want to mess with them too much. I could use a little tweezing right now, but we're not doing that. And I use a product to fill them in, make them darker, look them, make them look a little bit more youthful. You can see my expression lines better when I fill them in. So this is the Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel and Taupe. Look at that. Okay, they're pretty big, very boyish, not very defined, but I'm kind of digging that right now. So we have the complexion pretty much set except a couple more powder. powders to use um, to kind of just top everything off. So I'm going to go into a powder blush, Dior Rouge Blush Charnel 459. Some of you guys asked me like what the true color of this is because it looked dark on my cheeks. It's pretty much a peach. It looks really brown in the pan, but it is a peach color that I think is flattering. But if you like things on the lighter end, this might be more suited for someone that's darker than me. I don't like rolls, so I'm using this. I already have plenty of color on my cheeks, but I believe this is what I did in the video. And I'll blend it all together later once everything is on. So we are very peached up now. I have a powder bronzer. Oh my gosh, I'm forgetting everything. Powder bronzer, not that I need it. Wayne Goss, we're just going extra today. Wayne Goss Radiance Boosting Face Palette Light Gold. So I think I'm gonna go in, I might mix them actually. Sonia G, Sculpt One, back and forth. Now highlighter and then I'm gonna buff it all in with a blurring powder. Highlight brush, refer number 20. Natasha Denona Face Glam Palette number one. Highlighter here is Star Glow. Ooh, that's a highlighter. That is a highlighter. Mm-hmm. All right, now buffing brush. Buffs all of this mess together. Sonia G, face one, Shantikai, perfect blur in the lightest shade. This guy right here, this is a baked gelée. My favorite finishing blurring powder. I liked the way it looks on the middle of my face. It really kind of smooths everything out. 
And if you kind of overdo it on the blush and everything that's going on, take a little bit of this powder, go over the top, and just kind of mix everything in. It just kind of tones it down, makes it a little more seamless. Anything, anywhere that you overdo it, it's gonna help. This brush is really soft, by the way. If this was rougher or denser, um, it would probably not make my makeup look very good. But this brush is key with this step. So let's take a close up look because we're pretty much, we're done with the face. We're done with the face, yeah. See how we are with our pilling over here. It looks pretty good. There's a little bit of foundation kind of um, sitting in my pores here in a not so nice way, but that's okay. You guys can't tell. Only if you're really up close to my face. I think I look very tan right now. So the main palette I used in this smoky look is Dior, the five color couture quint. 669 soft cashmere this is a very taupey brown moment it's a little bit deep it can get real deep fast <laughs> on a skin tone like mine so i made sure to put something a light glitter over the entire lid to kind of brighten things up okay and try to keep the ultra glam theme i also used a multi crumb shade from Cleona Cosmetics as the glittery kind of over topper thing we had going on. And this shade that I used is Opulent. And it has gold, even though this is going to be a very cool tone look. And I don't know, I chose the shade. So that's what we're going to use. I might have pulled some neutral shades from here and maybe some inner corner. I don't know. I don't remember. I think I might have. This is the fake Natasha Denona face one. Face glam palette one. I don't know. The lighter one. Might have pulled some eyeshadow from there. Let's attempt to recreate this. I think it was the Victoria Beckham bronze. Satin Kajal bronze shade. I'm pretty sure. Don't know the mascara, but we'll get into that when we get there. So let's just start out building our shape which this is a pretty big eye so it's going way over the crease so i'm going to start with a smaller brush wayne goss 19. i'll do it oh, let's start with the middle shade here and i'm just going to create a shape so i'm just creating the top shape over here just to get us started now, where it really come, becomes important is this part right here. So, smaller brush, Wayne Goss number 20. I'm gonna go in this shade here, a little bit deeper and cooler. All right, that is a lot of smoke and a lot of shadow, a lot of shading, but I think we have a good shape going. It is not perfect. It is not precise. We don't have that clean edge. We wanted to get a really clean edge. We take a concealer, I don't know, some tape, clean it up, but I want to start going underneath my eye. Pencil Pro from Sonia G, and I'm going to use the same color underneath. Now I'm gonna do some blending because I don't wanna get carried away. I could probably blend all day long, but I think we have the gist. I'm looking at the picture that I'm using for reference. I feel like this version is a little bit more cool toned, at least right now up until this point. Now the next shade, I believe what I did 
is use this very shimmery taupe 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 shade in the middle of like my lid and then that Cleona Cosmetics multi-chrome on top. And then I'm pretty sure I did multiple things on the inner corner that I'll show you at the end. So first this, and I want to say I use something flat like the rougher 02. We're going to try this out. This shade might not be so necessary because that Cleona one just overpowers it. But I think this is, if you want to stay really true to the cool toned everything kind of look, you wouldn't use that Cleona shade that I'm going to put on top because it has some warm gold in it that I didn't realize when I put it on. But you guys seem to really love it. I think that was like honestly the standout part of the look is the Cleona shade. Otherwise, this is a pretty basic smoky eye. But I don't know. I'm sure a lot of you would love just this taupey one instead. Because this makes the look very much different, sh different tones, different textures of the same color. But this flat brush is a really nice way to apply a color like a... Uh, an eyeshadow like this. Little tiny amount of fallout. Before I put on that Cleona shade, I changed my mind. I'm gonna go in my inner corner first and I'm gonna put on a really beautiful white shade down my really tiny, tiny, tiny brush. This is the Refer 23. This is Westman Atelier iPod in the color Neige. I just have makeup over my nice shirt. I try to dress up for you guys. You know? Okay. Neige. Oh, I'm hitting pan. Holy crap. I'm hitting pan on the shade. Okay, I'm just gonna use this first as a base. <laughs> and then we're gonna go even sparklier. More sparkly. <laughs> after this but this is a pretty cool toned white shade that again if you really want to go all cool tones I would use the products that I'm talking about but at the end I'm gonna go ahead and ruin it with warm <laughs> how pretty that is this is just the right amount of shine on the inner corner but we're gonna take it up a notch um, so I'm not sure what I did. I might have tried to use this light sparkly shade, but I'm also thinking I might have used this inner corner shade. Let's start with the Dior first. I'm not sure that does a lot. So I'm going to go in the Cleona shade and then see what that looks like. See if I need any more in the inner corner. So this Cleona, I'm pretty sure I use my fingers. So just swipe and then, whoop. Actually, I, t I press and release because of fallout. But this is where things get gold. Opulent is the shade if you guys want to pick it up. Leona Cosmetics is an indie brand. It's expensive. Their stuff is incredible. This is where the glam is at. You guys, that is the glam shade right there. It's not from the Dior palette. It's from the freaking Cleona Cosmetics. That freaking shade is this look. Okay, so I'm going to use the Natasha Denona Inner Corner shade from the glam palette. Just because it is gold. I don't know why, but the cool and warm toned shine here, I think, really works. Have you guys ever used like a piece of scotch tape to remove fallout? Because I have, and I might do that. Eyeliner, Victoria Beckham Satin Cajal Bronze. Okay, right, so I'm going to put on mascara and then get my lashes ready. The mascara I believe I use is the Essence Prism. Princess Lash Hatch. I haven't used on my channel in a while. I'm going to curl my lashes with a shoe Amura. See what happens. 
but I usually put on mascara first and then a false lash. So I just want to get this on so it can dry and then I will, while it's drying, I'll prepare my lashes. All right, mascara is on. Here's my lashes, Ardell Demi Wispies. I'm gonna use these and trim them and then probably throw them away. Um, this is something I'm not great at. So I have my little cuticle scissors so I can make these a bit shorter. And the gla lash glue I'm using is House of Lashes. I have a little Sephora collection lash applicator, which I feel like helps quite a bit. So I'm just going to trim, put the glue on, let it set. We're just going to start over on this side, use a new strip because these are just not working. Guys, I apologize for this lash. It looks terrible. I even used a new one. I'm just not having luck or patience, probably because I'm way out of practice with lashes and I just, I'm a little frustrated right now with everything. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, moving on to lips. How are we liking the glam eyes? I think we got pretty close uh, to the look that I did before. Dang, my hair got caught in those clips. Um, my hair is not curly like it was in that video. I hope that's okay. Lips are very important in this one because they're a little bit dramatic. So lip liner, Victoria Beckham. Actually, I probably didn't use this lip liner, but oh well. Victoria Beckham number two. This is the lip definer. No, is this number two? This is number three. I don't know which lip color I used. So I'm gonna guess that it was the Victoria Beckham Jump Posh Lipstick. What do you guys think of this look? Yay, yay. Are we feeling glam? Do you, lip glow oil from Dior. This is the Hollow Pink number 10 shade. Don't think this was the same lip color, but I'm digging it. It's very cool toned. Go with my taupey gold eyeshadow look. What do you guys think? So hopefully I got close to that look. Some of you guys are curious what products I used. I'm telling you, Cleona Cosmetics, that eyeshadow is what really makes this look ultra shiny, ultra glam, the gold against the silvery taupe kind of shades. I think really makes it stand out and I mean it makes my eyeshadow my eyelids seem really smooth and like glossy kind of looking so I am a huge fan of this look although the lashes really frustrated me at the end there <laughs> Uh, but let me know your thoughts on this look. Would you recreate it? Do you have, I think the main things, honestly, you can do your face however, like your complexion. Um, I think if you want a lot of glow, like what I have, a tan really fast, the Fenty Body Sauce, the Soft Cashmere Palette is pretty key for this eye look. And then that Cleona multi chrome shade. Otherwise, you can change it up however you want. Um, the obvious point I wanted to make is you can make it really smoky. You can have sort of a silvery cool tone look and then you can contrast it with like a gold champagne-y kind of shimmer all across the look, the lid. And it just has a nice contrast that makes it a little luxe, a little glam. Anyways, you can create this look for the holidays. I hope I gave you a little inspiration, maybe New Year's, or you have a little party to go to, a little get together. Um, you might want to do a look like this. I know it's not the traditional red, green, gold, or silver, but there's a little gold in here, just a little. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, click the thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.